Hello everyone, this is Eno, and welcome to my unboxing video of the Smith & Wesson MMP9. At first glance, the Smith & Wesson MMP9 comes in a fairly nice plastic case. I just picked this up from my local gun shop today. I always support local businesses whenever possible. Nice Smith & Wesson logo. Two latch. Has a uh, hole here to be able to lock the case to secure the gun if need. But let's go ahead and have a look at the gun, shall we? Little piece of paper here to uh, probably protect the case itself from the oils and lubricants that are in the gun. But there's our prize Smith & Wesson MMP 9mm. It's a good looking gun, ain't it? Smith & Wesson comes uh, in the box with two magazines, one located in the gun, the other one here. It also comes with three different grip back strap options. Comes stock with the medium. Small and large are also included in the case. Moving over to this side, gun also comes with a locking device. Comes with a test shell. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. So Luger 9mm. Gun was fired and tested on January 3rd, 2011. It's currently March 24th. And underneath here, we also have our instruction manual and some other paperwork. Here we have the owner's manual for the MMP9. Located inside that we have the product registration card. You can either mail this in or you can register online. I'll probably register online. And then inside that we have a membership application to the NRA. So these are all the things that come stock inside your case of a brand new M&P9. Let's put all this stuff back for right now and let's have a closer look at our M&P9, shall we? As you can see the gun comes with the chamber flag just to let us all know that it's not loaded this gun has never been out of the case it's never been fired I don't currently have any ammunition for it anyway but let's go ahead and check it just in case empty mag let's take our flag out chamber is clear come stock with 17 round magazines couple of the features of the MMP9 are the three dot sight, the adjustable replaceable back straps, the jointed trigger, this is part of the safety feature, the gun itself doesn't actually come with any safety mechanism in the traditional sense, it just has the safety trigger. And basically it's this jointed trigger that has to be depressed uh, naturally as a trigger in order for it to work. If something just catches the trigger, it won't fire. It has to actually be actuated and depressed like a normal trigger. It has an accessory rail. Located in the back here is a tool. If you turn this 90 degrees, now these are always a little tough to get out on a brand new Smith & Wesson. I can tell you from having some friends that own this gun. So this is probably going to take a little bit of effort. There we go. Trust me, it does get easier after you break the gun in a little bit. 
One thing that this accessory tool does is it allows you to unlock the back strap in case you want to replace it with one of the other sizes. The other thing that it does is it allows you to take apart the gun. To cock the gun like this, it will open up the chamber in which you can move down, kind of, kind of press down what's called the sear lever and then you drop the slide remove lever like that that will allow you to disassemble the gun there's the gun in pieces as of right now I'm not going to disassemble it any further we'll just kind of reassemble it real quick Sear lever back up. There we go. We're all reassembled. We'll put our tool back in. Put it in at 90 degrees. And then turn it and it'll lock into place. And we'll just replace our magazine for right now. Another nice feature of the MP9 is the chamber window here. This allows you to actually see into the chamber to see if there's a round loaded. If there is a round loaded, you'll be able to see a little bit of the uh, brass casing. I like this feature as opposed to something that throws a red flag or something like that in the window, some sort of mechanism that will allow you to know if there's a round in the chamber. This one, you can actually see the round in the chamber physically, uh, which is a nice attribute. So there is our Smith & Wesson MMP9, brand new out of the box, hope to be firing it this weekend, and then you know what, we can do a video about how to clean a Smith & Wesson MMP9.